Jared, the sweeps don't happen in the playoffs a lot. Um, how impressed were you with your guys' effort today to you know, beat a desperate team? I thought it was our best game of the series. I liked I liked our game a lot tonight. I think uh, the 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 details of our of our checking and our structure were outstanding. Um, tough to work through all five of our guys tonight. Just just put a real importance on on playing the right way and checking the right way and getting back above pucks and made it difficult. I mean, they got one of their goals in the, on the power play where we get the inadvertent high stick from Jost, um, held them to, you know, uh, I don't know how many exactly, but kept their scoring chances against down tonight. And and that's what we were, and it was a full 60 minute effort. So I, I, I think the first three games, we had some lapses in our game and, um, some things that I didn't like, but tonight I liked a lot of it. Maybe not as dangerous as what we can be on the offensive side of things. We found a way to score enough goals to win the hockey game. Lauren Jabara, Altitude Sports. Hey, Jared, being able to get this done in four, like how much emphasis did you place on, hey, we really want to get it done tonight because of how intense the season was, how intense postseason is to have a few days well, to rest a lot the body of before. Yeah, there's a lot of advantages to getting done early. I think, you know, rest and recovery for our guys. You can get some practice time in. It gives you extra time to prepare. Uh, you never – like St. Louis is a very good hockey team. You got to tip your cap. They, I mean, they they ran into a little bit about, of what we ran into last year in the bubble. Is You know, they lose Perron before the series. They – uh, lose fall during the series and, and key players that are eliminated from their lineup due to injury and COVID. And, and uh, so they were grinding and working and, and playing the right way. And um, they just ran into some bad luck. And our, I thought our team played real well and, and, and took advantage of a little bit of that. So, but to be able to, you know, get the rest that we need and have that extra time to prepare uh, Vegas and, and Mini are at 3-1 right now, so we don't know how long that's going to take. And, and I think it's a it's a positive for our group. You know, we, we can get hopefully get rested and get healthy here before we, we start the next round. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yeah, Jared, how pleased were you, I guess, with your team's presence in front of the net after kind of you stressed that game one? It seems like you guys were pretty, I guess, compact around the net and had a lot of tips the, the last few games. On the offensive side of things, yeah, yeah, offensively. Like, well, yeah, I, I think there was we had we did a good job of getting pucks through from from the outside of the offensive zone. Our numbers were looking good, um, but not enough screenshots. Uh, we had we had some rebound chances in the first three games, but I mean, if you look at the goals tonight, you know, Landy's especially, we get a deep delay in the in the offensive zone. It comes up to. Uh, Gerard and, and he lets it go right away but Landy's over in the corner and he just fights to the interior of the ice and he gets a deflection on it I mean that's a difference if he doesn't get there it's a um, can of corn for Bennington and, and uh, we're facing it off so those little plays and, and getting back to the interior of the ice for screens tips and rebounds I think are real important and uh, you know, like there's a lot of teams that are very good at that, and, and we've got better at that over the years. But it's it's how you score goals this time of year. You got to get around the paint. You got to put pucks there. Adrian Dater, Colorado Hockey Now. Coach, uh, I want to agree with my statement. I thought the turning point in the game, though, was the uh, the sod power play goal. They're two seconds away from killing a penalty. They're going to get a big hear from the crowd they're up one nothing and it just seemed like uh, that goal deflated everything uh real quick too if you have a new hook update too at the end of that uh, if you don't mind yeah so well new hook i mean you got, i'm sure you guys saw the the hit that we were on a rush attack he was charging that and he got hit on a puck that was put in there and went into the end boards or corner bo boards pretty heavily and and um hit his his uh, back in there so he stiffened up and and tried it for a couple shifts and you know as he was sitting and, and going in between shifts it just kind of got a little bit worse so he left the game I don't have any other uh, medical information than that um, 
and then you that that was, certainly was a big goal though when you when you every goal is a big goal in the playoffs but i mean just the timing of that goal to kind of get us started in the second period and we had some good looks in the first period i thought bennington was good again our goalie was playing well i i just think that you you, you take some of those opportunities time's running out they know they only have the rush attack and kale executes a great play solder moves into the right area and he just gets it on and off his tape and and i mean i think that's i think solder's now scored in three games in a row i mean a guy that missed time, you know, at the end of the season and, and jumps in and, and starts producing it at the most important time of the year. And he has a reputation for that. So we need that to continue. Kate Shefty, the Gazette. There were a lot of potential distractions in the series between the suspension kind of hanging around and the after the whistle stuff. Do you like how the team main, maintained focus? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I thought, again, I thought that was our best game of the series. And you don't want to give a, a good team a chance. You know, they, we, we did a nice job maneuvering through some, some, you know, not so great play from our team in the second periods and, and being able to sort of break their momentum in the thirds and, and play well. And then, um, you know, you, you just don't, they, they had a good start to tonight's game. They were playing hard and, uh, we were trading some chances. I thought our team was checking on. You just don't want to give a team life. If they're able to win the night, then, you know, they're thinking, we'll just steal one in Denver and we're coming home again. So when you have a chance to eliminate teams, you, you, you have to you have to be able to capitalize and, and, and get the job done. And uh, our guys did that, you know, and, that, and that's focus. It's determination. It's, it's uh, consistency. And, you know, I thought we got a little better as the series went on. Take three more here for Jared. Evan Rall, DNVR. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, offensively, everyone knows how good Makar is with his skating. Everyone can see that. But you know how good he is defensively. Do you think the whole world is kind of going to see just how good he is defensively, even at such a young age during this playoff run? Yeah, I believe so. I think I thought he had a great night tonight on that side of the pocket. I mean, there there is some... Um, I mean, we expect a lot from him on the offensive side of things, and, and that's what he, his strength, uh, overall strength of his game is. But he's a strong skater, obviously. He's a, he can play physical. He's got a great stick. And uh, when you can defend plays with the tight gap coming into your zone and then use your legs to get you in and out or close plays down, I thought he was aggressive. He was quick to contact tonight. And um, for me, defensively, his best game of the series. Arif Dean, Mile High Sports. Jared, there's a lot that's been said, understandably so, about the team's offense, but defensively, or I should say goaltending, uh, do you feel like Philip Grubauer's performance has kind of been overshadowed by the fact that you guys have scored so many goals? No, not not by the people in our room. You know, I think, um, he, I, I think we've done a nice job making sure other teams don't get a ton of scoring chances. Our commitment to defend has been good all season. Um, when we need a save, whether it's, you know, a breakdown or a turnover, he's there to make those saves for us. And, and everyone in our room um, and with our organization values Groovy and, and, and what he's done for us. You know, I think it gets overshadowed because we're not letting teams put up 40 shots a night or high 30s, you know, like we've been trying to keep those shots down. And, um, but it doesn't it doesn't diminish what he brings to our team when you need to save he's been there to give it to us and and that's his job and he's been outstanding at it so far this whole season last one here for Jared, last one here for Jared Michael Morial NHL.com hey Jared I realize you entered the playoffs as the president's trophy winner but was there anything you learned about your group in this series that maybe you weren't so sure about from the outset um, I, I don't think so no um, not so far. I mean, I, I think that uh, our t the thing we've been preaching is, is that commitment to defense and playing a 200 foot game. And, and I think you look at the series, I, I, I think we had opportunities to get a little bit more dangerous offensively. We scored on, on, on some of our chances. I think we shot the puck. Well, I know, I know we have the ability to do that. Uh, our, our time in the offensive zone went down from game one to game two to game three. I haven't seen tonight's yet, but we still were able to be productive and get to the interior of the ice. So um, 
you know, it's not necessarily about the time you spend there. You have to be productive. And, and, and we've had games in the past where we were, we spent a lot of time in the offensive zone and weren't as productive. So there's a balance there, but I like the way our team defended and I knew that we could do that. And um, I mean, it's just going to get tougher and tougher as, as we move on here in the playoffs and, um, hopefully we can sustain it. It always looks good until you run into a team that, that doesn't allow you to do um, the things that you're trying to do in a game. And, and then you have to adjust and you got to be able to work through it. And so, you know, our tests will come here as, as we try to move on to the playoffs here. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you.